Well, joining us is one of the entertainment industry's top lawyers, Chris Chatham, uh, who serves as trusted legal counsel to global icons and entertainment powerhouses. Now, his impactful work has earned him recognition as a top Hollywood dealmaker from various media publications across the country, including Variety's Legal Impact Report and Hollywood Reporter's Highly Competitive Dealmakers Report. Now, Chris has gone after some of these scammers who are swindling others for money using my or Robin's name. So, Chris, thanks for being here. <laughs> what do you run into when you try to track these people down? What we do and what we've done is use the technology, use the law, and found these people and held them accountable. Now, I'm not suggesting we've gotten every single one, but we've gotten close enough where we've stopped their operations and we've precluded them from continuing this unlawful conduct. The way to combat this is, number one, what you and Robin are doing, which is raising awareness and talking about it, because people do not know the magnitude of what's happening in this country. Well, it's like playing whack-a-mole, right? I mean, you, 100%. you pop this one and they come up over here and they change their name and then go over here. And, and how many cease and desist letters do we send out? I, I couldn't even count. I mean, Countless. it's dozens and dozens and sometimes dozens, dozens a month. That's right. Uh, and. You know, Robin, I've seen you sit there with just tears in your eyes because somebody will sign up and says, this is free, this is your product and it's free. We Give us your credit card number in case you want to go later, but this is free. And then when they try to cancel, they can't. That's right. Because That's right. They, they call the cancel number, nobody answers. They click the cancel button, nobody responds. And it just breaks. I've seen you just sit there crying over some of these things. It really, I do. I get so upset. I get frustrated, but most of all, heartbroken because they use these scam magazine covers and then the photos, and then they make these big promises. And your viewers think, oh, this is her product, when it's really just soap and water, basically. And they do sign up. They can't get out of it. They're spending their hard-earned money. And then they think it's all because of the two of us and because of me and because I happen to have a skincare line at the time. It's heartbreaking, I, and, and I feel responsible when I'm, I'm really not responsible, but I feel responsible because they're spending their hard-earned money and they believe in me and I have nothing to do with it. Here's another clip from a past episode where one scammer was charging several hundred dollars for people to speak with me. And get the, here's what they did. They, they go into these magazines and they get a phone number and say, if you want to have a private session with Dr. Phil or Robin, then call this number. And then when you call the number, it answers uh, Dr. Phil show. And it, this is not the Dr. Phil show. What really pissed me off is it was like $350 to talk to me and $425 to talk to her. <laughs> so we set up a sting to bust these suspects, because they were people were calling them from all over, thinking they were going to have a private session, and we tracked them down and found them setting up at a hotel. They got in an elevator, and I got in it with them. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got down to the lobby, the elevator opened, it looked like a jailbreak. <laughs> you know, when you confront them, it, they just disappear. But it's like stomping ants at a picnic, right? No, it's 100%. And, you know, the thing that, <clears throat> that we have been successful at is the anonymity of this is really what controls this. The moment that you identify these perpetrators and these scammers, then there can be accountability. So thank you, and thank you, Robin, for doing that. Well, all you can do is what you can do. It's, we're, we're fighting the fight, but I'm not sure we're winning the fight, but we're fighting the fight. And uh, you are relentless, so thanks for all you're doing oh. to help us with this. Uh, look, we're out of time. I want to thank all of my guests today. If you believe you've been the victim of an internet scam, you can go to the FBI special website, ic3.gov. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.